All right, this one's gonna be on term SCP. It's basically FileZilla, but for your, you know, terminal. So this is a text user interface program. So all you gotta do is use hotkeys here. So some of the hotkeys they have in here, let me do um, F1 to show you here. All right, so it really depends on the screen that they gave you, right? Right here by default, they only show you a couple of them here. So that's your key bindings. And also at the bottom here, they'll show you the key bindings, right? So escape or F10 is to quit here. Um, tab is to switch. So if you hit tab, this one basically top and bottom. So the top one is for your, you know, uh, typing out your password and stuff like that. The bottom one here, this one, um, tab between them is, this is your bookmarks. Basically, if you wanna save a, um, a server with their password and all that, then you can save it in here in your bookmarks. Uh, if you use left or right arrows, you can do, you know, left or right. And these ones are your recent connections. This one over here, it will not save your password. It will just, um, you know, pre-fill out some of the common ones, but it will not like save your password, right? So you see your password is blank here, right? Uh, over here, as far as this, uh, if I want to um, load something up, this one will actually uh, save the password, right? But over here in your recent, uh, it will not save it, and you get the idea. Um, as far as connection-wise, uh, different programs, uh, protocols that they support is that they have support for um, SSH, FTP, and also um, Amazon S3 here, right? Uh, unfortunately, I don't have Amazon S3 to uh, show you that, but... Uh, as far as for SSH, they have support for these uh, SFTP and SCP. And old school FTP, they have these two here, right? FTP and FTPS here. So I'll show you those. Uh, real simple. You know, we'll, we'll use some of my recent connections. I don't want to type it out again. But let's say, for example, I connect to um, my uh, host here, right? Uh, if you were doing this manually, all you gotta do is go to the protocols, uh, the protocols that you want, right? You just do arrow keys. So I go to SCP and I'll type in my credentials, the port, and all that, and that's how you would uh, connect to it. But since I already have mine, my recent one here, I'll just put that in there. And these are my, um, was it then my IP, my port, username, and uh, the directory. By default, it goes to your home folder. And I'll just type in my password and we'll connect to it. Hit enter. And now we connect to uh, <coughs> my local um, server here. And if you want to transfer a file, this is mainly what people are going to use it for, to transfer files without like typing in command line. I always hated the command line way of um, transferring files over SSH. It is always annoying. I always forget it. And... I hate it. <laughs> I still today never want to use it, right? And I haven't used it. Um, I would rather use like SSHFS or something like that to mount it and do that. But with this program, you don't have to like mount the, you know, your remote server to do it. You can just connect to it automatically. So that's what we're doing here. So if I want to transfer a file in here, uh, real simple, let's say the zip file, I just go to that file locally. And um, as far as the interface in here, this is like, you know, your your local one on the left side. So this is your current computer. And this is your server. You can see the IP up top here, right? And I can uh, go in here and select the file that I want. I hit space and basically I'll transfer it to uh, my server here, right? Or if, if I'm on my server and I want to transfer it back, I can do the same thing. You know, select the files that I want and then I hit space and it'll transfer it back, right? So for example, if I delete this one here over here, I'll hit uh, delete, I'll say yes. And if I wanna transfer this one back, I'll just hit space on here. And look at that, I'll just copy it over, right? Real simple. Uh, if I wanna delete the file over here, same thing, just go select the file and hit uh, the delete key and we'll go yes. And that's pretty much it. Now, if you want to transfer multiple files, all you gotta do is hit um, M. So for example, if I have um, this PDF file here, I'll hit M to mark it. 
I'll hit this one here. This is a WebP file. I'll hit M, right? And then I hit space to transfer it. And you see over here, this is the two files that we got. Real simple. Yeah, you know, if you want to unmark it, you just go to you know the file, hit M again, and you unmark it. Real simple. Uh, pretty much it. Now, if you want to get more hotkeys in here, like I said, uh, let me zoom out so you can see more of it here. So the bottom here, these are your hotkeys, right? So you're never gonna be lost. And if you hit F1 in here, they'll have more hotkeys than the other screen that we saw earlier. But yeah, as far as like um, how you are navigating here, basically enter is to enter a directory. Backspace is to go back a directory. Um, tab or left, right is to, you know, um, what is that? Go to between the panes. And what else is there? Marking. So you can like, you know, select the files and like multiple files. You can select them. And space is to either download or upload a file. Um, that's really all you gotta need to know in here. I mean, you can do other stuff in here, but I'll let you explore that on your own. Anyways, uh, anything else of that? That let me uh, zoom in again. So that's how you would do it. So let's say, for example, I want to delete this too. M M and then hit the uh, delete key and I'll say yes and it'll delete those two files right now if I want to exit out of this I can hit escape or Q or whatever it is so escape will say disconnect yes and now we're back in our main screen here uh, if I want to connect it to um, so that one was SCP that we just connected to but if I want to connect it to um, SFTP which is this one here so this one's on port 22 here and uh, if you want to change your directory, because um, by default, like I said, it, it goes to your home folder on that SSH server. But if I wanted to, um, you know, do um, my root folder, I just hit uh, with a slash here. I can see it. And now it's all that. Type in my password. And now if I connect to it, um, you know, this will be my root uh, directory. And I can navigate like my external drives or external mounts here. Um, what do we got here? Incoming. So if I want to transfer any of those files, I can do it in here too. So let's say, for example, um, this 240 test suite here, I can do space. So you see, same thing. If you're doing um, either SCP or SFTP, it don't matter. All right. Uh, is that it for that? I think that's it. Anyways, that's uh, for SSH protocols, real simple. Just make sure that, you know, if you're doing this, make sure your SSH, um, SSH server is, you know, enabled and everything. Now, as far as FTP, uh, this is mainly what I'm going to use it for, you know, FTP, all right? So let's say, for example, I connect to uh, this DOS games here. And this one is an open FTP uh, server, so this one doesn't require any password or username or anything. All you gotta do is connect to this IP and, um, you know, connect to it. There's no password or anything like that. So if you wanna try this out, you can use this uh, FTP um, server here. And if I want to download some DOS software, uh, what do we got? This one has uh, ExoDOS which uh, we're not gonna download. But let's say, for example, I wanna download, uh, let's download something else in here. DOS collection. Let's say I download this, uh, this uh, 1869 thing here, right? So I just do space and look at that. We'll do that and it'll transfer it over here. Real simple. I said it's a 1949 thing here, space. Look at that. So, you know, FTP servers still exist. And if you want to get some files, you can just use this program to download it. Um, so that's mainly what I use this for, you know, because, you know, um, torrents and, and all that stuff, uh, there's a lot of eyeballs on it right now. So I'm trying to use like some old school um, protocols that people still have active. And I can connect to a lot of them. Let's say, for example, this one here. 
another FTP um, server. I can go in here if I want to get some movies. You know, if I want to get some, we got some MP3s in here. We got. All right, if I want to get some MP3s, I can go in here. Um, if I want to get some games, what? Are there any games in here? They got some games. They got some ebooks I can get. All right, so um, all these other protocols, uh, I don't have to worry about getting letters in the mail <laughs> by my ISP. All right, I'll just use this one to connect to them. And there's a, a few of them that still exist that I connect to. You know, let's so say hopefully this one's online right now. There you go. I can um, get files from here. All right. And the transfer rate nowadays, because uh, if you guys remember like FTP... You know the FTP scene back in the days, like this was like way before Napster. Uh, I remember like in the late '90s and early 2000s, this was the way to use it. But that was like back when it was a dial-up. It was so annoying. Nowadays, you know, we have high speed, so it's like less annoying because you can transfer really quick. Um, so that's why I'm using it nowadays too. And some servers still exist. Now, as far as this program, um, it doesn't work with all FTP servers. Uh, I'm not sure why, but, uh, you know, most of the servers I connect to, there's no issues, right? Um, there's no issues with this, but I'll show you one, uh, or there's actually a couple of them that doesn't work, but I'll show you an example here. So if I connect to this um, uh, FTP server, like, it'll just hang, look at this. It will not connect. It will give you no, like sometimes they give you an error message, but most of the time it just says connect and you're stuck here. And I can't even quit out of it. Like, you know, most of the times, you know, when you want to quit a uh, terminal program, you hit control C, control D, control G, uh, escape, uh, you know, all that stuff. It doesn't work, right? Q in here don't work either. So if, you, if you're doing this on a straight TTY, you don't have an, uh, a terminal multiplexer enable or anything like that, you're stuck. So I would have to quit out of this with my TMUX and then, uh, you know, I'll open a new window and then connect to it. Now I can do it again. But yeah, I'll, I'll just be stuck with uh, that screen uh, forever. <laughs> so it's really annoying. And um, now this server actually does work. It's just that uh, it doesn't work with this program, the uh, term SCP at the moment. Hopefully in the future they'll fix it and... Um, you know, uh, we'll have no issues, but there's a, a bunch of other uh, FTP servers that I cannot use this program with that works fine in uh, FileZilla. So let me give you an example. This same server, look, I'll connect to it here. Not an issue, right? I can, um, you know, look at some of the uh, stuff they have in here. What the hell? What are we doing? Books. All right, so this server, no problems with uh, FileZilla, but... Um, as far as um, in here, it doesn't work. And this is not just a one-off. I tried a bunch of other ones here that uh, doesn't work with this program at the moment. Like I said, uh, this will all be probably fixed in the future, but at the moment, this version here, which is uh, 0.11.3, uh, it doesn't work with some of the FTP servers that I've tried. And um, that's one of the issues, right? Uh, anything else? So this was your recent ones here. Um, you know, they don't say passwords in here. So if I want to, um, you know, uh, load this up, it will, it will not save the password. But if I type into my password here, right, and I'll save it. Uh, the way that you'll save your bookmarks in here is Control S. So let me zoom out here as you can see. Where is that one? Is there Control S in here? No, let's go to the help page here. So control S is to save uh, bookmarks here, All right? So if I want to save bookmarks, I'll just do control S. And uh, what, what do you want to call this one? We'll say uh, my local um, server or something like that, right? So now, uh, now that we uh, saved it, uh, it will be here. See, my local um, server here. And this one will tell us that it's using SFTP. And then you have your username and then your IP that you're connecting to and your port, right? So now if I just hit tab and I just go to that one here, let's say, for example, I'll load something else here first, all right? So even if I do that, I'll go to um, 
uh, what was it my local server? I'll hit enter and I'll hit enter again and uh, it should connect to it. Oh, I, I typed in the wrong password. Oh man, let me do that again here. Delete this, we'll do it again here. So let's say for example, what's the one that we did? No, oh, this one here, right? We'll load this one here. We'll type in our password and we'll do uh, control S to save it. My local serve, All right? We'll just do that. And so here, this is our thing. We'll hit enter, enter again. And now we connect to our, um, you know, our SSH server here. Um, that's pretty much it. That's how you would do it. Now, let's go out of that. So, you know, that's one of my only issues with it. Um, it doesn't have like proper support for FTP for all the um, servers out there. Like I just show you, it only works um, with, um, I mean, they work with a, a bunch of FTP servers, but some of them, uh, it doesn't work unless I use FileZilla, the GUI on here. And um, as far as the hotkeys, like I said, um, it's 2023 and beyond if you're using if you're creating a text user interface and you don't have support for the normal folks that uses arrow keys you don't have the cult of emacs in there and you don't have the true religion of vim hockey's in there then uh you know you're not targeting the right audience those are your three audience that you're connecting to right so you want to cater to all three of them normal folks emacs folks and vim folks Right, those are the hotkeys that you want to implement when you're doing a text user interface. Um, what else is in there? Oh, I really wish they have support for other protocols. So right now they have, you know, yeah, they have SSH and FTP and Amazon and all that. But I wish they had like uh, the, the the common ones like uh, NFS. People still use that for Linux. They have um, was that the uh, Samba shares, right? And hopefully, uh, I still use the Apple um, time capsule. So if they have like Apple file protocols, um, that'd be great too. So I can just, you know, use that. I don't have to mount anything. I don't want to waste time. And I would just connect to it and I'll just transfer it over. That'd be great too. All right. So if they keep adding more protocols, uh, you know, I'll, this will probably be like the best program. And, um, you know, in the past, I really wish like most of the file managers would incorporate like remote um, servers that you connect to, like uh, Ranger File Manager, VIFM, or something like that. But none of them really do that. I don't know why. It's just that I only see that in GUI file managers. You know, like Nautilus or some or Dolphin or something like that. They'll have support for a bunch of these protocols. You know, Samba shares, FTP, SSH. But as far as terminal um, file managers, they never really have the, it's kind of annoying. So uh, at least this program solves some of the issues uh, with that, right? And we're not really mounting anything because uh, I, I understand people use SSHFS and, you know, some type of um, Samba share mount, some type of FTP mount. But uh, with this program, you don't have to do it. You just connect to it and then, you know, it does it automatically. You can transfer it really quick. And I, like I said, I hate using the terminal to transfer files. It's annoying, you know, typing all that stupid commands out, all the paths and all that stuff. And this program solves that. Anyways, hopefully uh, you saw what you like. And if you want to use it, um, go and uh, install it. Really, really good program. That'd be it for this one.